This study is particularly significant because A, it's a world first, and B, that's because we have this fantastic collaboration with the service providers in Victoria, both Monash and Melbourne IVF. And the reason we wanted to do this study was because the whole process of IVF is quite intrusive in a way on the growing embryo, or in the fertilisation process initially, collecting the eggs using extra hormonal stimulation, and then growing the embryo for several days in the laboratory and then transferring it to the uterus. So this is a very fragile stage of development and things can go wrong in early development that can impact later on in life. We had telephone interviews with over 600 mothers about the health of their young adult offspring over the first 18 years of their life. The IVF young adults themselves reported on their quality of life. Their results were almost identical to the non-IVF young adults. They reported growth measures that were almost identical, including age at puberty, very sensitive questions that they answered quite happily, <laughs> and uh, their educational achievements as measured by the ATAR, you know, the, the tertiary entrance score, um, and some other parameters were also almost identical. It is kind of cool to meet other people that are IVF children as well. My sister's boyfriend's an IVF twin. He, and they've got another set of twins that were also IVF and then meeting people through this research and stuff, it's always nice to know that someone is the same as you in that sort of sense as well. I reckon I've always been a pretty happy and healthy child, I've never really had any issues whatsoever. My IVF treatment took place at the Royal Women's Hospital. I was successful with my third attempt. Yes, I was very reassured with the results um, to see that there was no increase in any type of abnormalities, they were just normal gorgeous kids that just needed a little bit of technology to get here. <laughs> we hope that the results of this study will provide reassurance to those who have gone through the process of IVF, both the young adults and the parents, and also to the health professionals who are often asked about the long-term safety of IVF. But we hope it will also provide reassurance to those considering assisted reproduction now and in the future.